She is one of the strongest, most determined people that I know. She is absolutely gorgeous with an amazing sense of style. She's, uh, if, you, if you give her any task, she will do it to her fullest extent. She uh, is so well studied and so determined and so is headstrong and, and she, she's a force of nature. And, and she has these moments where, where, where you can't believe that this is actually happening and she brings the best out of you. Uh, Marcus is sweet, he's considerate, he never says no, which is annoying for me sometimes, but um, he's really, really kind. I love telling the story actually. Uh, so we met in PE class in 10th grade. Um, it was the second semester and so basically I walked in with Celeste and Natasha, my best friends at that time, and like just, you know, it's PE so it's just kind of like, ugh, who wants to do that? And I knew nobody in the class and I didn't necessarily care to. I walk, we walked in and I noticed him sitting and stretching and I was like, hey, like, who's the new guy? <laughs> like, he's really cute. But um, this one girl behind me eventually comes up and asks if I want to be her partner in the, the unit coming up. I'm going to go ask the new kid. <laughs> and I went up to the new kid, I'm like, hey, like, you're going to be on our team now. And he's been on my team ever since. Oh, she definitely made the first move. For some reason she thought that I was cute and she approached me and she was the one who asked me, hey, do you want to be on the team? She was the one who dragged me in and said, hey, you want to hang out? Hey, come over here and you know sit with us. I wasn't the best person at socializing at that time. So she was the one who really sort of got me out of my shell and got me involved and got me, you know, being silly and kicking soccer balls into the ceiling and, and having a good time. <laughs> yeah, I definitely made the first move. <laughs> I don't know if I can remember my first impression of her. It was, it was eight years ago. We've been together a long time. That he was really cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, really, that was the thing that was kind of like, oh, wow, like, hey, this, who's, who's that? Like, he's cute. But she was cool and she was funny. Um, and and I just I just had such a good time around her. Um, I guess after that, my first impression would be that he was smart. Um, he was smart. He was witty. Um, yeah, but definitely cute. <laughs> Our first date was at. Um, wow, I'm forgetting the name. It started with the T. Hopefully Rachel remembers. We went to Tomatina, um, we split, I think a calzone, uh, split a calzone and some dessert, and then we went to go see uh, The Hunger Games. It, it's, it's kind of, it was kind of textbook. It was a textbook dinner and a movie. The proposal took a little bit of planning and it came a little bit down to the wire. She had family in town and I decided to propose and we had already you know, talked about it, we already picked out the ring. Um, so so it, we, we had we'd gone through a couple of steps ahead of time. We went wine tasting at like three different wineries that we had always wanted to go to and then um, took me on this terrifying like death ride <laughs> out to Jenner. Um, to go to this uh, hotel place, like on the cliffs, and it was supposed to be beautiful, like sunset, really romantic. I was hoping for sunset. I was, I was really, really hoping for clear skies, but California got me, and I got a little bit, got a little bit of clouds, and I proposed to her on a cliffside overlooking uh, the Pacific. Yeah, he got down on one knee, and you know there were seals in the background, and everything. It was really cute, and it was really sweet. What I'm hoping for most with marriage is just how it's going to bring us closer together, and and what opportunities it's gonna it's gonna open up for us. There, there's just something that's really, really. It, it just it, it makes me really happy to think of sharing a name when we're hyphenating, um, and and knowing that she's mine and knowing that that's always going to be there for me. I think I'm most looking forward to all of the change. Like we, I mean, by the time we get married, we will have been together for eight years, and you know, there's so much that can go on in eight years, and especially when we got together, it was like. We're 16 and, you know, we're 23, we're going to be 24 now, so it's, and we've both changed so much, 
in that time. And so I'm really, I'm re I really am looking forward to seeing what the rest of our lives bring. Uh, my favorite physical feature of Rachel uh, is her smile. When you get her to smile, it's, it's, uh, it's like the freaking room lights up. It's probably my smile. Uh, my favorite physical feature would, like his eyes, like the, that was one of the first things that attracted me to him. What I'd have to actually assume she would say is my eyes. But I think now it'd be his butt. Like he's, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like a really like cute, tight butt. Like that's the only Brazilian part he got was his butt and it's really good. Butt, 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 butt is like the first thing that comes to mind. Um, but I'm half Brazilian. It's a common conversation topic. She is so determined and, and she's so wonderful. But when she gets her head in, in, in a certain way, she wants it that way. Um, it's taken a long time for us to find a language where we can find compromises around that, but uh, that would be the one pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve uh, would probably be the fact that he doesn't close anything. Or like, and like, no seriously, like he'll open a cabinet or a drawer or the closet. Like even while I was doing my makeup today, he opened up the, the, the mirror to get his deodorant and didn't close it. He never closes anything. The first person to apologize after an argument is me. Um, because I'm usually the one who does something wrong, makes a mistake, didn't know something, forgot something. And so I'm usually the first person to apologize. He's generally the first to apologize after an argument. And I'm pretty good at getting people to see my way, but um, even even if I'm totally in the wrong, and there are times, not often, but uh, even if I am wrong, he's generally the first to apologize. He just doesn't like conflict. Oh God, me, I am way more stubborn than he ever will be. <laughs> Rachel is more stubborn, uh, hands down. The, the way that she was raised, she, she knows what she wants. She has gotten to the point in life where, where she's smart, she's on top of things. Uh, she knows that she's right and she won't stop on, uh, until, until it is known that she is right. Oh God, absolutely him. Like, like I said, he won't put things away. He doesn't close things, he won't put things away. I'm messier, hands down. There are so many times where he has left piles of clothing just all over. I, Marcus Oaken, am very messy. And I don't understand how it doesn't get in his way or annoy him that it's just there, but he messes, don't bother him. Me, absolutely, I'm the better cook. Rachel is hands down the better cook. He's really good at following recipes, so that is one thing, but uh, no, just in general, I am the much better cook. <laughs> so Rachel's gonna kill me if I don't uh, if I don't let her win this one. I'm the safer driver. Like I've had like emergency vehicle operations like training, so I know how to drive fast, but also safe. He just likes to drive fast. Uh, but I am the only driver who can navigate San Francisco without breaking a sweat. So take your pick. Rach, um, I love our life together. Um, behind us right now is our house. The fact that we have such an amazing life, we've got two amazing dogs, we've got a gorgeous house, the fact that we've got you know, fantastic careers, none of this would have happened without you. Um, I, I owe you everything. I, I really wouldn't be the person that I am today without you. Having you in my life has been, has been the best thing to ever happen to me. Uh, there's, there's a lot of time left to go. There's a lot of time left to live, and I want to spend it all with you because I know that when I spend time with you and when we put the work in and when we build our life together, amazing things happen. Yet, yeah, no matter what, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, so I'm, I'm really happy that we're doing this, and I can't wait. Um, oh God. You know, I'm not very good with words. Like, you've always been the wordsmith. Um, but I do want you to know that I love you so much.
and I'm so excited to marry you and I'm so excited to continue the journey that we've started and just like a, a new it's like a new a new beginning a new book with our names on it and I, I'm just so excited for that but yeah I love you